we have two lists. And we want to extract the items in list two that are not in list one using a formula. <laughs> Now, last video, we saw how to do this in a helper column. But in this video, we're going to take this base formula and convert it to an array formula to help us extract all of the items in list two that are not in list one. Now, we'll actually do it two ways. We'll do not in list one, and we'll also say, please give me the items that are in both. Anytime we have a formula that compares two lists, we can use the match function. Now, last video, we actually looked up the item for each row. But because we need to get everything over here, in the lookup argument, we're going to do a function argument array operation. That means I look up every single one of these items simultaneously. And match will look over here and deliver the relative position of the item in the list. For example, the first item is in the second position. Healthy garden is nowhere, so we'll get an NA. By putting all the items here, match will simultaneously deliver all the answers, comma. The lookup array, that's our list one, comma. And we're doing exact match, so I put a 0. Now, if we hit the F9 key, we can prove to ourselves that we get a resultant array of relative positions or not available. We're interested in the not availables. Control Z. Now I happen to be in Office 365, so if I hit Enter, this spills the results. Veggie and Fruit Delight is in the third position over here. Best for you is not in this list. So I really need to extract all of the items that show an NA. So I come up to the top, F2. And now I say, are any of you is NA? That'll give us a true when it sees an NA. When I hit Enter, true, true, those are the records we should extract, F2. Now I use that resultant array inside of filter. The array argument is our list two, comma, include. That's the patterns of trues and falses. And that formula right there is so much easier than how we used to have to do it with array formulas. When I hit Enter, there's the items that are in list two, but not in list one. Now, if I go back to the top cell and hit F2, unfortunately, filter is only in Office 365. And now, August 27, 2019, it's only in the Insider version. But soon, it will be in all of Office 365. Bonus formula number one. If we want the items in both lists, then we simply, instead of using is and a, we say, are you a number with is number. When I hit Enter, that spills the items that are in both lists. All right, bonus formula number two is really a look back at history. Now, I know lots of us don't have filter yet, but soon we all will. And notice there's only a small part in this much larger formula. If I hit F9, that's the only part that we used over in our filter. Control Z. Now, if you want to see how to create this formula, I have lots of videos. Here's a great one that shows you how to create this formula. And if you want to learn more about dynamic arrays and filter, check out this video.